Alright, so pretty much, I just wanted to quickly show how I like make thumbnails for my YouTube and stuff. I had a few people asking about it, and it was a majority yes for the YouTube poll earlier. So I guess I'm gonna just show it real quick. It's actually really simple. Um, pretty much, just find a place where you want to take a screenshot. Obviously, use the camera item. So this is like the first basic, basic step. You just want to get a screenshot of your character doing something. All right, pretty much, here's the uh, editing software I use for the actual editing of the image. Now, uh, basically, this is just a free online editor. Obviously, they have a premium and stuff. Like, it, you really don't need it, though. Uh, the link, I'll leave the link to it in the description. It's um, pixelart.com slash e. All right, so once you've got the screenshot open, what you want to do, so to get rid of, like, the UI, I just, like, zoom in the image a bit. I don't know you're going for, but most of the time, I like to have my character, like, less central so if, if my character's here like the text will be completely covered so if you have a character more to like the left or the right then you know text is easy to see obviously the you know you could have your character like this i think this is a pretty like this is pretty cool right here all right so once you get like something like along the lines of this so you have your character to like the left or like more towards the right side so you have room for text obviously depending on what you want to do you could just have your character in the middle as well but once you have this you want to file and then save. Um, now pretty much once you've got the next image, what you want to do is you want to go to um, a website called Runway ML. I'll put the link to that in the description as well. And what this is, it's um, an AI background removing tool. It's a bit scuffed using it for images, I can't lie, but I don't know. I just, it's just easy because I already know about it. It's pretty much you select the stuff that you want and it will be a bit buggy. Like it's, it's like right now for me, it's pretty like frame laggy. But that, it should be good, because it does do a good job at cutting out the image. And then you also want to click Done Masking. It should look something like this. But once I get this, I just export. And then, obviously, if you have, like, it's going to export as MP4, but that's fine. It, it literally won't matter. You can just screenshot it in the um, export thing. I'll show that in a second. But, you know, if you want it to upgrade, you could use, like, you could just get the PNG 1080p one. It doesn't, it doesn't matter too much about the quality of the thumbnail since thumbnails are already pretty small and it's not crazy noticeable. Yeah, you'll have the video of it right here in the assets page. Unless you bought ProNet, which is a PNG, so you can skip this part. But um, I'm using Oprah GX to screenshot it. You can also choose snipping tool. It shouldn't matter that much. But pretty much just play it, wait for the video tag to go away, and then just screenshot. Um, Oprah GX is just good to use here because it's just fast. The snipping tool also works. So you just want to get the screenshot from here. So again, I'll show it again real quick. You just want to play the video, open up your screenshotting software, copy it, boom, that easy. And then you want to, after that, go back to pixlr.com and then in here, you copy and paste the image in and uh, you can now use magic select, which is this icon here, or one select, and then you want to put so you might want to play around with the tolerance a bit because it can be like very different for some images but normally around 55 is good just to get rid of the green or like the majority of it so i'm like 57 right now and then you can see that it does leave a bit of a green outline but you can go through and clean that up after so basically you cut the green background out of the image that's the first step i did and then you click back here on background filter blur now you can set the blood to whatever you want, but I normally just do like, I think I do like 70-ish. And by the way, this is a free online software, so it is pretty laggy. Um, you know, that's just how it is. But you go to like, so I go to like 77 blood here, just hit apply. But then once you've done that, you'll be able to see very clearly as like a green outline because it doesn't have the best magic select tool. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to just select the erase tool and then bring it down to like, um, five pixels ish maybe not five that's a bit too low actually no it isn't oh yeah make sure you have the, the cutout image selected as well so you may i'd say i'm gonna just go for like to eight for this because i'm gonna go do this pretty fast but you just want to go around where the green is just get rid of it once you're done getting like the main ones all of the obvious green parts are gone it'll probably look i mean you know you'll have your character It'll be similar to this in like in the way that the character will be um, the main focus of the image and then the background will be blurred 
And then next step after this would just be to get your text. To type in whatever, so I'm going to type in create thumbnails. Um, I most of the time do like one word at a time because it's just a lot easier uh, to manage and it can also make the thumbnail a little more cleaner. So what I do, I'll create one layer right here and then just uh, keep in mind the size of it and everything. Or wait, no, I'll just, I'll just copy and paste it now because uh, for this thumbnail, since the text is in the background, so once you put the text, so you bring the text layer underneath here, then it'll be behind the, the image. And what I'm doing for this one is to make the clip text more clear as to what it's saying, because it is important for this one. Now in this video, sometimes the text doesn't need to be clear because it doesn't really matter. You just want to get like um, the thumbnail looking nice to be clicked on. But for this one, it kind of is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, on this image layer, I'm going to, um, where is it? Styles, outline, and then I'm going to give it an outline, punch out the outline make it white and then if I line up this image yeah shrink it down a bit actually nah I'll leave it at that there now I have an outline for it so then if I go empty create merge so you want to make an empty layer and then with your text layer you want to have make sure it's just above the empty layer and then click merge down and then when you select the text layer, you'll be able to select it from fixed to free, which will then let you um, just move it around however you want. And so, if I do that here, I can then I can like make it go right up to the corners, and then you know fill up the thumbnail a bit. And then for this, I'm going to do the same for this outline. Just make it fit in pretty nicely if I can. Put it in there. Should match up pretty nice, and then. You want to drag this layer underneath, and it could look like this. Then it, you can see like the outline, work, off logo, paste it in, expand it behind, so it'd be behind them. I want to make it obvious it's shadow cast, so I can try get like like the logo in as much as I can. And then once I've done that, change the opacity to like. 70 ish percent and then you can do that with other stuff as well other effects and then since you know that looks really obviously cut out you can do filter drop shadow you can like do what you want with like the um x axis right y axis you can change that all you want just to make it work so you might find something like this and if you wanted to just add this to thumbnail so i'd leave it on the first layer because it's easier to like move around to get it where you want it to be so say i went like this for example and then I just drag it down underneath everything else. And then, yeah, I'll just drag it to like where I want it to be. So if I want it to be behind the text or like going over this part of the text like that, I guess I could. If I want it to be like behind the whole image. Yeah, and then I'd always suggest putting like the opacity down on like a thumbnail effects like this. You don't want it to like stand out too much. Like you just want it to kind of like be there, you know? And then, yeah, so you could have something like that. So like, honestly, I've shown the basics now, so that's really it. That's all it really is for thumbnails. That's pretty much it. I guess I'm gonna go get on with um, the actual video, which I'll have out in like maybe like an hour or so, which is the final part of this boss rating progression. But yeah, I I hope this helped. Bye.